Hey, welcome to Stuck at Home. This is a short visual novel. It was made for a game jam with the theme, Fear of the Unknown. Uh, according to the description, it is a game about feelings, but mostly memes. Now, that doesn't give us much, but I'd like to find out more. Anyway, let's jump right into it. You've recently graduated high school. Your parents wanted you to go to college in the fall. So, that's what you're doing. You're absolutely scared shitless. Now, what is your name? Serian? This is your room. It's pretty much a mess. Uh, I've seen a lot worse. That is not a mess. It reminds me of myself. Also, why am I talking to myself? I really need to stop talking to myself. Uh, somebody has texted you. Likely one of the friends you've been ignoring. Damn. It's Skipper. You've been friends for years. You know she'll probably talk your ear off. Uh, let's answer it. Hey, Sarian. Sup? Not much. You? Uh, the usual. My summer job is starting soon, and I'm so nervous, lol. Oh my god, I bet. Let me turn this down a little bit. Uh, what have you been up to? I feel like we've barely talked since school ended. Uh, you know, the usual. So, not much. Well, well. And yeah, it feels like it's been an eternity. Uh, wanna come out, hang out with me and D later? We kind of have a, a surprise for you. Oh. Uh, why not? Uh, sure, what's a surprise? Uh, do you think I'd call it a surprise if I'd spoiled it so easily? Who do you take me for? Someone easily tricked by my wicked ways? Come on, you tricked me once. I still can't believe you thought that Adam Sandler and Donald Trump were dating. What? You photoshopped that article really well, okay? <laughs> Rolls eyes so hard. Anyways, me and Dee will meet you later at, uh, at your place later. So you better be ready. I'll try my darndest. Did you just type darndest? There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, later, see you. See ya. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Gotta go. So, that was the thing. Now, how to kill time till they get here? I guess it has been a few days since I've showered. You take a shower. Hmm. Finally, all clean. Hello? Guess who's come to visit? Skipper? It is a beautiful and flawless skipper. I am also here. Hey, Sarian. Hey, guys. God, it's been ages since I've seen you both. Also ignore the landfill that is my room. It's not that bad. You should see my room. Yeah. Her room is seriously a landfill. I think it's probably a fire hazard. Okay, it's not that bad. You've missed these guys. So, how have you been, Sarian? Uh, what's had you so busy lately? Uh, I don't know why. You got me. I've been so busy with my lavish life of partying and alcohols that I've ignored my friends. I'm a monster. But yeah, I've, I haven't been purposely avoiding you guys or anything. I've just been really busy with things. Things? But hey, we're all together now, so how about you, uh, that surprise you mentioned? Oh, right. Uh, we'll have to leave soon if we don't want to miss it. They bought it. Uh, yes, we'll have to leave soon. But first, I have something I need to talk to Sarian about, privately. Shit. So can you leave the room for a bit, Skipper? I promise it won't take too long. Oh, okay. What does she want to talk about? Oh no. <laughs> what is this music? You're about to be interrogated. Don't look so scared. I'm not going to interrogate you or anything. Oh. But, you know, you're pretty bad at lying. <laughs> what? I wasn't lying. I'm clearly a hardcore partier who likes to drink the alcohols? You know that's what I, not what I mean. I just... <sighs> you know, you can tell us anything, right? That we're not going to judge you or anything? 
you should probably come clean. You're way too smart, you know that? I do know that. You know me way too well. <sighs> it's now or never. So I haven't really been busy. I've actually been like the opposite of busy. I guess I haven't felt like talking to people or doing like anything. Man, that's a mood. Lately, I've just stayed in all day, occasionally thinking about college, and then proceeding to flip my shit. Uh, sounds like you, you've you been needing someone to talk to, Sarian. Well, don't call me out. Yeah, I guess so. I, I just didn't want to worry you guys. Guys? <laughs> like, I usually just make dumb jokes and stuff. So I didn't want you guys knowing I'm actually really pathetic. <laughs> Skipper. We would never think you were pathetic. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, so, Sarian, your walls aren't very soundproof, are they? Paper thin. So, uh, Skipper, I'm gonna go ahead and assume you heard everything. You have assumed correctly. I didn't mean to eavesdrop, though. I just got impatient. Because we have to leave soon. She's right. Is it okay if we continue our conversation on the way? Yeah, it's cool. Let's go! Oh, nature. Come on, Sarian. You keep falling behind. It's been so long since I've been outside. I remember being really nervous for college. I remember delaying uh, everything to the very last minute, and that got me in a lot of trouble. Don't do that. Don't be like me. Uh, these are called trees. <laughs> what is that strange orb in the sky? We call that the sun. We fear it. <laughs> Don't look directly at it or risk angering it. The world is a dangerous place. War. War never changes. Okay, that didn't even make any sense. It's been a while since I've been around people, so excuse me if I'm rusty. This is nice. But, yeah, Sarian, do you want to talk about things like why you feel the need to isolate yourself? Damn. Oh god, I sound like a therapist. You really do. <laughs> Which things in my dreams symbolize dicks? Which things don't? But, yeah, I don't know why. I guess since graduation, I've just wanted to avoid doing things. Like, I'm so worried about going to the co in, going to college in the fall. Because I don't like change. That's how I feel. That's how I felt. I'm afraid of change. And after graduating high school, it all just became more real. And from here out, things are just going to keep changing. Just, I don't think I can handle it. You know? I can understand that feeling. Uncertainty. Going into something without knowing what's going to happen. It's scary. The fear of the unknown. <laughs> Game Jam theme achieved. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad they pointed it out. Uh, but you can't stop change from happening. It sucks, but it's true. And staying in your room won't help. Skipper, I'm sure she knows that. I know. And that's why she needs to know that she has friends to support her. Even when she's feeling bad, or depressed, or afraid. Sarian, you're not alone. We're all worried, we're all scared, and we're all in this together. <laughs> Skipper, confirm for Zach Efron. <laughs> Skipper, are you going to go to a golf course and do an angry song? Is the surprise that you need to get <laughs> your head in the game, but your heart's in the song? I hate you both. so done. Uh, do you have to go your own way? Anyways, I know that us just saying nice stuff won't like cure your fears, but we'll do it anyways, even if it only helps a little. These are such nice friends, because you are our precious friend. Yeah, what she said. You guys are a bunch of saps. You are definitely not crying at all. Nope, no tears here. Oh my god, I think Sarian's crying a bit. 
Oh my god, she totally is. Shut up. It's just raining on oh, my face. Shut up. <laughs> That's so sweet. We didn't say anything. <laughs> you love us. Shut up. Okay, you're right. Together. <laughs> oh god. Together, we can bop to the top. Okay, shut up. Now we're finally here. What's the surprise? I'm excited. Really? Surprise? We managed to get you out of your house. <laughs> I think she's been overwhelmed by the sheer glory of this prize. Ah, stunned silence. The surprise was... a sunset. That's beautiful. You probably should have seen this coming. You two are ridiculous. Hey, the surprise was a good way to finally get you to come out and hang with us. Maybe the real surprise was friends we made along the way. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. It is a pretty sunset. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nature is awesome. It's I... This definitely beats staying at home, right? I don't know. My ceiling is pretty interesting. <sighs> yeah. This is better. Thanks for dragging me out of that pity party I was living in. That definitely wasn't melodramatic at all. It wasn't much of a party. More like a pity gathering. Get together? A sadness conference. Yes, all of those. You then proceed to talk about your fears and dreams for a while. <sighs> Growing up sucks. Growing up is hard. It's hard and nobody understands. Hmm. <laughs> Don't think I didn't notice that Homestuck reference. I warned you, bro. I told you, dog. I hate you both so much. We love you too, Sarian. That was sweet. I'm so disappointed that I didn't get the Homestuck reference. Even though I read it. <sighs> the end. Good end. That was a very sweet story. I think the fear of not knowing what's coming next is very real. I remember having so much anxiety about starting college. I definitely didn't feel ready. But yeah, I had a couple of good friends who hung out with me and got me through it. So I relate to this story a lot. But yeah, eventually I, I accepted that things were going to change. And being an adult didn't seem so scary anymore. I know that sounds really cheesy. But yeah, enough about my feelings. That was really sweet. And I definitely could relate. 100%. And I'm sure most of you can too. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Bye.